Hi everyone, welcome back to beauty.com and again this is Chris. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I do my foundation. So never mind the hair, it's really like messy. So let's start. Um, before anything else, this is not my everyday routine. So I normally do this if I'm going to attend like special occasion or events or if I'm going out with my friends, something like that. But again, this is not a daily routine for me. So what I normally do is I applied this one it's a max fix plus so i already sprayed a couple of these on my face and once it is dry just get whatever liquid foundation you're using so i'm using this one it's from revlon it's their color stay um liquid foundation so after shaking it i'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my hand oops just a tiny bit of this and I'm going to dot this around the area using my finger. Okay. Not too much because I'm not really a you know liquid foundation girl. Okay, so you also have to put on this. I mean you also have to put down your neck, but um I wouldn't be like doing that. Oh, that's my baby up. <laughs> She's going up now to her room. Anyway. Um, uh, this one is really fast drying so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sponge it's actually cleaned already it's just had this like stain there but it's clean anyways um, this is wet so you just have to you know work it out like so you have to be really really fast because um, this liquid liner is fast drying so you have to work your way really really fast you can also use the technique of a um, stippling brush if you're like really fast in stippling. So in this occasion, I find using the sponge more convenient and you can actually work it out really, really, really well. Okay, again, as I said earlier, don't forget to apply liquid foundation on your neck. Okay, but I will not do that. Okay. And then next, I would just be taking this concealer here. Okay, so I'm going to take this um, like salmon shade here. It's almost finished now. So I'm going to take this and apply this under my eye, like so, just to cover the dark circle in it. Okay. I'm using my ring finger for this because um, this is the lightest finger you have and uh, you don't want too much pressure on this area. Okay. And you can tap this or pat this like really really lightly. Okay. I also want to put something here, a little bit, just to cover the redness around the area. So this is how I actually look like without any, you know, makeups on. Okay. Just going to open a little bit here. Okay, like that. And sometimes I do want to apply white here in the middle of the nose. Just to have you know, an illusion of a tall nose. I sometimes do that, but not always. And sometimes I also want to put a little bit of white here. just to give a little bit glow on this area. This is optional. I'm just taking the white there. If you're kind of wondering what kind of um, concealer is this, this is the this is the Quad concealer from Coastal Scent. And then the last 
thing that I want to do is to powder your face. So I'm just going to use this one. This is from Revlon. It's their um, color stay pressed powder in light pale. So yeah. I'm just going to use a kabuki brush for this and you know apply it all over like so. Okay. Of course, you have to apply this also under your chin and also on your neck. So, like that. So, this is what I normally do. So, as you can see, it really has like a really nice finish. And try to avoid using like dual foundation or um, two way cake foundation if you're going to apply liquid foundation because. Um, the tendency for that is that you definitely have like a cakey face or um, it feels like heavy and it wouldn't look really nice. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> and I think that would be the tutorial for this look. And oh, by the way, you can also use um, loose powder for this one or any mineral loose powder. Yeah, you can actually use that one. And just make sure it's not a full coverage. Just um, you can use like um, from light to medium coverage. Yeah, you can use that one. So um, I hope you like this tutorial. It's really fast and yeah, very easy to do. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.